We could see a little bit of rainfall during the evening and overnight hours, but not that terribly much. Uh, throughout the area. I think the bigger rain is going to come Friday during the day, really Friday morning on through Friday night and into Saturday morning. Here's the rainfall going on right now. Now I've got everything cranked up uh, as you can see every sprinkle that might be out there. Uh, we're knocking squirrels out of the trees. It's so uh, cranked up. Uh, you can see again just sprinkles out there. Maybe a little bit better chance over parts of the peninsula where we are seeing a little bit uh, brighter green colors. <coughs> Pardon me and into Suffolk right along the Suffolk and Isle of Wight County line toward Windsor as well. But this is definitely some rainfall going on toward Ahoski, south of Ahoski. Perhaps even uh, we could see an ice pellet mixed in with that, that with the bright colors that we're seeing there and the higher reflectivity. But again, there's nothing very, very big going on. The bigger stuff is going to come tomorrow night. Now we're stuck with all of this, this colder air for a while. We're going to see wave upon wave upon wave of colder air drop on into the region. And it'll drop on down and be okay. It'll be around 50 degrees coming up uh, for a couple of days, and then it'll drop on down into the low 40s for high temperatures coming up too. So again, it'll, it's not going to warm up very, very much. Now here's where the rainfall goes overnight, according to the European forecast model. Seven o'clock tomorrow morning. Temperatures don't drop all that terribly much, so I'm not looking at big problems with wintry precipitation. And really, I'm not at all, but I tend to think that uh, coming up on Friday, uh, Friday morning early, we're starting to see a little bit more rainfall into the area. Now it changes over to a little bit of a mixture, mostly out of our area. Temperatures mostly in the low 40s. This is our Friday afternoon. Still some rainfall going on, uh, but we are getting a little bit of a mixture here and there in the inland areas from western Suffolk on up to Williamsburg. Those where things are 10 o'clock on Friday night into Saturday morning, 4 a.m. Still occasionally a little bit of mixture. Now we're talking temperatures in the upper 30s Saturday morning and rainfall and then coming to an end uh, during the day on Saturday. Now that's on the high end of what we could get in terms of precipitation and in terms of any kind of a mixture for the area. This is our Monday and then by Tuesday uh, we've got some colder air through the area again and that's awfully far away. That's seven days away, but that's showing us a little bit of snow again. So we're stuck with the cold air, kind of dropping in, lifting and dropping back in again. Here's what's going on in terms of any kind of a mix of a rain snow mixture into the area by Friday at five. Yeah, nothing much. Here's where things are coming up by Saturday morning at seven. Yeah, it's saying an inch and a quarter, three quarters of an inch. But remember, it's snow. Yeah but it's mixed with some rainfall. So chances are most of it's not going to stick. We could see a little bit of it stick uh, toward the Franklin area, uh, but chances are it would be overnight and in the pre-dawn hours of Saturday. So we'd see a dusting on grassy surfaces, but it would likely melt uh, before you wake up. So again, that hardly counts as seeing a snowfall, but it would wake the kids up at four o'clock in the morning uh, kind of thing. You might be able to see a little bit of snow on the ground, uh, but chances are it's not going to be anything real, real big. Here's what's going on with temperatures throughout the area. We got temperatures basically into the 40s, some low 40s in most areas, 44, 43, 45. It's 48 right now into Norfolk, otherwise mostly uh, into the mid 40s throughout the area. We'll drop on down to about 40, 43 over night, rise to 51, rise to 47. We could see a mix late in the day on Friday into Friday night and early Saturday. But again, temperatures are far too mild, still cold, but obviously not below freezing for us to see much of anything stick. So we'll rise a little bit and drop a little bit, rise a little bit, drop a little bit, but basically cold over the next seven days.